This is Module 5, Lesson 28. And today's lesson, we'll be solving word problems with line plots. And we're going to go directly to our problem set. So we, here we have a chart of some data, the students' names, and the distance each student ran in miles. So we're going to plot this data as a line plot. So the line plot starts as a number line. So we're going to draw a number line. And we need to first look at our data and see what the lowest number is. So the lowest number here is 5 eighths. So we know we need to be able to plot that. So we're going to do a 0 and a 1. And then, because we know 5 eighths is going to fall in the space between 0 and 1. And then we're going to look at our largest number. And we see no lar number is larger than 3. So we can safely end our line with 3 because we want to make sure that we can plot the largest number and the smallest number in our data set. Then we see that the fractional parts are either in eighths or fourths, or in the first case, in halves. So we want to divide up our line to show the smallest decomposition of the whole numbers. So we're going to divide it into eighths. So I first have marked halves. So this would be one and a half. This would be one half. This would be one and a half. And this would be two and a half. And then we're going to divide again into fourths. And finally again into eighths. So that's the first step in drawing a line plot, is drawing an accurate number line that allows us to plot all the points that we've seen here. Then we're going to start putting an x for each of the data points. So our first one is 2 and a half. So we're going to find 2 and a half, and we're going to put an x here to show Joe's score. Then we have Ariana at 1 and 3 fourths. So Here's one, one and a fourth, one two fourths, one and three fourths. So there's Ariana. Then we have Bobby. Bobby is two and an eighth. Then we have Morgan, which is one and five eighths. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So one and five eighths. Then we have Jack at two and five eighths. So one, two, three, four, five. 5, 2 and 5 eighths. Then we have S uh, Sasha at 2 and a fourth. Now we already have someone at 2 and a fourth, so we're going to put the second x on top to show that, that we have 2 at that point. Then Tyler is 2 and 2 fourths, which we know is the same as 2 and a half, so we're going to put in the second x at 2 and a half. Then Jenny at 5 eighths. One half is four eighths, so one more would be five eighths. Then Anson at two and two eighths, so here's two and then one two eighths. And finally, Chandra at two and four eighths, so one two three four, which we also know is equivalent to two and one half. So here we've plotted all of our data points to show our line plot. So we can tell several things from looking at this. We can see our lowest number, our highest number. We can see our most frequent number. So we're going to answer some questions now based on this line plot. So for question number two, solve each problem. Who ran further than Jenny? So let's go back and see what Jenny did. She was 5 eighths. She was our low number. So here she is. So if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9,
we see all of the other nine students ran faster than her. Then who ran a mile less than Jack? So let's find Jack. Jack ran two and one eighth. So a mile less would be one and five eighths. And the only person who ran, and the people who ran less than one and five eighths was, this is one and five eighths, but it said less than that. So the only person who ran less than that would be Jenny at five eighths. says two students ran exactly two and one quarter mile. Identify the students. So let's go back here and see. Um, Saisha ran two and one fourth. And Anson ran two and two eighths, which is equ equivalent to two and one fourth. So Anson and Saisha And how many quarters did each student run? Well, if it's two and one fourth, we could ta change two into fourths as eight fourths plus one fourth would be nine fourths. Okay, try D. So the difference in miles between the longest and shortest run, the longest run was two and five eighths, and the shortest run was five eighths. So the difference would be two miles. Then it says compare the distances run by Ariana and Morgan using greater than, less than, or equal to. So go ahead and try that one. So Ariana was one and three fourths, and Morgan was one and five eighths. So we have related denominators here, so we can make them both eighths by multiplying by two. And we see that this is six eighths, so one and six eighths would be greater than one and five eighths. Try F. So Miss Smith ran twice as far as Jenny. How far did Miss Smith run? So Jenny ran five eighths. So two times that would be ten eighths. And then they say to write it as a mixed number. So eight eighths plus two eighths would be one and two eighths, which could also simplify to one and one fourth. Try G. So Mr. Reynolds ran one and three tenths miles. And we figured out from F that Miss Smith ran one and one fourth miles. The whole numbers are the same, so we're comparing three tenths to one fourth. The denominators are unrelated, so we would make a common denominator of 40 by multiplying 10 times 4. So 10 times 4 is 40, so 30 times 4 is 12. And here, 4 times 10 is 40, so 1 times 10 is 10. So we see that 12 40ths is less than 10 40ths, so 1 and 3 tenths is greater than 1 and 1 fourth. So Mr. Reynolds ran further than Ms. Smith. For number three, you can write 
a problem of your own. So take a moment to do that. And then once you've written your problem, you can take a moment to swap with your partner at your table and see whether or not they got the same answer that you did. And then you take a t moment to try to solve theirs. And that ends lesson 28.